assalamu alaikum dear friend today uh, this is a health and well being series and uh, today i'll talk i will give a talk on nutrition uh, it, <clears throat> it consists of uh, seven part importance of nutrition what is my macro and micro in nutrients essential fatty acids omega 3 probiotics and uh, afterwards you know uh, synergize or pairing of eating uh, food for better ab absorption recommendations for healthy diet herbs amazing herbs to cure diseases let's start with this uh, uh, saying of uh, hippocrates one who, who is a father of medicine let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food the diet is one of the pillar like sleep and exercise for health the foundation of gut health is based on diet what you what we eat we are what we eat nutrition is a key to healthy immune system as 70% of immune cells are housed in gut many diseases are actually caused by the gut eco as we know that innate immune system consists of 6 trillion human cells 60 trillion bacteria 380 trillion viruses and some number of fungus so we have to take care of all these you know the back community of bacteria and other cells like we take care of garden unfortunately in uh, medical school the doctors are not taught uh, more than 20 hours about nutrition or diet they are just for treatment not for preventive prevention for the illnesses here i would like to quote dean ornish president and founder of preventive research foundation one who has been treating president bill clinton for his heart disease what he said you can reduce angina and chest pain by 90% to 95% by simple changing your diet and lifestyle recently dr shiva also in the media he 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 explained about that about the sugar how the high sugar diet is uh, is a major cause of dysfunction of immune system and one of the example it was uh, you know live uh, it was uh, recorded that one of the lady one who was preparing jam and jelly organic he she was not allowed to brand below the 40% sugar of jam and jelly you know the sugar uh, it adversely affect the immune system cells which fight for outside pathogens let's uh, we it now you know nutrition uh, i'm moving forward it is now divides into two group macro nutrients and micro nutrients macro nutrients consist of proteins fats and carbohydrates are all used for energy it is recommended daily calorie requirement for active individuals carbohydrates 50 to 55% to of total calories 
proteins 20% to 30%, fats 20% to 30%. Micronutrients, it is comprised of vitamins and minerals, although not used for energy directly, but used in the metabolism of energy production, which enhances and stabilizes body chemistry. Minerals and vitamins consist of, you know, 90 in numbers, 60 kinds of minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two essential fatty acids. The same uh, 90 vitamins and minerals we found in the soil. Of course, we are also created from the soil. And then, uh, two-time Nobel winner Linus Pauling quoted as, you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral def deficiency. Indeed, while Pauling does recommend taking a mineral supplement every day as a part of his regimen for better health. Minerals, macro and trace elements, minor, are essential for normal body function and require in small amounts are calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, sulfur, and arsenic, barium, chromium, cobalt, copper, fluoride, iodine, lithium, nickel, selenium, tin, zinc, and zirconium, respectively. Composed of about 4% of total body weight. Un unfortunately, the vital nutrients, especially minerals, are no longer present in sufficient quantity in the soil. Thus, the fruits, vegetables, and grains what we eat today having shadow of uh, nutrients as compared to 100 years ago. Without the utilization of minerals, our body cannot perform the basic functions of life either as major factor or cofactor for amino acids, means proteins, enzymes, hormones, and vitamins. Minerals play a vital role in maintaining and building the structure of the body as well as proper brain function, intestinal function, and blood sugar function. For instance, absorption of B12 is dependent upon the presence of calcium. Vitamin E cannot be assimilated without the presence of proper levels of the mineral zinc and so forth. Therefore, solution of deficiency of minerals is possible by using Himalayan salt or natural salt for trace minerals, Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, cheese, eggs, milk, chicken, lean meat, liver, garlic, onion, green vegetables, salmon, tuna, etc and if required supplementing with balanced proportion of recommended levels of minerals rather than a significantly higher dosage of any mineral. Simply, minerals are essential for 95% of the body's daily function, functioning and adequate supply of minerals is the best assurance against diseases and degeneration. Let's come to essential fatty acids, omega-3-6. Essential fatty acids are so labeled because they are essential for life and cannot be manufactured by the body. Thus, it needs to be supplied through diet. Flax seeds, almond fish, walnut and cauliflower, etc. <clears throat> Rich source of beef. Yeah, essential fatty acids. According to Dr. Robert E. Wilner, MD, PhD, writing in his book, The Cancer Solution, that the essential fatty acids are the core of the answer to the cancer problem. Now, 
the next uh, uh, heading is probiotic probiotics probiotics are known as friendly bacteria or beneficial bacteria linked to the health of intestine for a healthy gut ideal ratio of beneficial bacteria to harmful is 5 is to 1 it means beneficial bacteria should be 5 and uh, harmful if one it's okay it's a healthy diet, gut the imbalance of good bacteria versus bad bacteria is due to the reason of soil health use of pesticide in farming decrease in the consumption of fruits and vegetables decrease in consumption of fermented foods and use of preservatives coloring and over use of antibiotics some of natural probiotics are garlic, homemade yogurt, fermented kimchi, cabbage, and quality probiotics. Plus, any or supplement can be bought. Uh, what are the benefits? It, number one, it promotes healthy bowel regularity and transit time. Increases digestive enzyme activity up to... 85% and here I would like to explain what about the enzyme enzyme is a catalyst or a spark for the body or digestion eating raw food avocado papaya and mango and some of the you can see a supplement also can be used for uh, all this uh, digestive uh, enzyme protect number three protect against bladder this probiotics and colon cancer and stimulate the immune system number four prevent from urinary tract vaginal and intestinal candida yeast infections and also help degrade toxins such as viruses bacteria fungi molds and yeast Number five, may help promote mental well-being. <clears throat> help to eliminate, number six, help to eliminate the negative effects of antibiotics. Uh, antibiotics. Number seven, it helps to reduce inflammation in gastrointestinal or GI tract. Now, the next, uh, uh, you know, uh, my uh, video, uh, uh, I will, the next about the same, same topic about the syner synergy, synergize the food or recommendations for healthy diet or amazing herbs to cure diseases will be in the next video. Thanks a lot.